Hi, this is Richard from Boat Fittings, and today we are looking at boat electrical systems. And what I mean is a whole electrical system from the ground up. So starting with the boat battery, going through the master switch, we're looking at switch panels, lighting, float switches, bilge pumps, navigation lights, a buzz bar. And the idea is this is going to be the first of a series of videos which will guide you through the process and hopefully be useful for people who either have to do a bit of electrical maintenance on their boat or perhaps you do have to install your electrics from scratch like I'm mimicking here. I hope you find it useful. Um, if you do, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I don't happen to have a spare boat to hand which needs wiring up from scratch. So what I'm going to do is make a buck to install these components. Uh, we've got some plywood panels and I'm going to assemble a, as I say, a buck where I can install these components um, in the in kind of way you'd find them in a boat, representing the different areas of a boat, such as the engine room, the cockpit area, the bilges, the interior cabin space. And the idea is that that will allow us to kind of look in a bit of detail at how the wiring is going to go from one area to another, the kinds of connections and methods to put it all together. Well, glad to have got all that out of the way, that was quite exhausting. But now we have the plywood buck which represents zones of the boat. We've got the engine bay down on this side. We've got other areas of the bilge here where we'll put a bilge pump and float switch. We've got the companion way down into the cabin space. A space for the uh, main switch panel, bilge pump switch. And then on the, on the other side we've got the uh, main cabin space and an area representing the parts of the boat under the floorboards. So what we're going to start with is the battery uh, terminal connectors and uh, these thick heavy duty battery leads which we're going to connect to the uh, electrical master switch which can isolate all the electrics. To me this is a very key thing on the boat. You will just want to have a switch that will turn everything off. When you leave the boat, turn that off, even take the key with you, you know everything's kind of, let's say, safe from an electrical point of view because you've got no power going to anything. This is a buzz bar, um, which if anyone's done any electrics on cars, the key thing with, with, a, with a car is the, the whole body shell is, is, is steel usually, which means you can use the, the, the body shell as a one big earthing path, or, or you think of it as your, your negative terminal that is the whole car itself. Now with a boat they're usually wood or fiberglass, so that doesn't work. So what you have instead is a buzz bar, which is a way of distributing the negative uh, side of the electrics. 
So we look a bit more at that. And the other thing we're going to look at is switch panels. Switch panels come in different kind of styles and sizes. Here's a few of the ones we we've have at boat fittings. This one, this particular one is a waterproof switch panel. It comes with a sort of old style 12 volt it's kind of cigarette lighter socket. On the back we've got fuses, we've got the individual uh, switches to wire up to. Here's another style of switch panel which uh, has fuses accessible from the front and it instead of the car cigarette lighter socket we've got a more modern USB uh, type uh, socket there. The uh, particular switch panel we're going to be focusing on for this guide is this one here. So we've got the row of uh, row of switches, we've got a row of fuses which are accessible from the front of the panel and if we flip it around a couple of things to point out we have a uh, built-in buzz bar on the positive side so we're going to have one positive feed going to this buzz bar and we've also got this earthing buzz bar or negative earth buzz bar so we're going to take a negative feed to there. Um, these internal leads come from the fuse so everything's protected by individual fuses to the to the switch and we also have some the, these switches light up when they're on so it might seem a little bit confusing at the moment but uh, we'll make it clear when we get to the next stage of wiring in the first uh, component so, so I've seen these quite commonly installed actually underneath the um, the engine cover so that it's less accessible to any kind of intruder. I've also seen them inside the cabin space and that's what we're going to do do here. We're going to um, turn for the bit of the switch you would access that's going to be inside the cabin space. One thing just in terms of positioning this is if you're going to have young kids on the boat you might want to choose a position where they can't easily get to it and uh, turn off your electrics as they're fiddling around while you're underway. So, I've now got my master switch installed. And the other thing we're going to look at is the battery leads. So, Positive and negative, everything starts here really. The negative lead will go to the negative terminal on the battery and we are going to connect to the buzz bar once we've got it attached. The positive lead we are going to attach to the master switch. So we are going to unscrew one of these terminals, put the positive lead on Okay, so next we have the buzz bar. And on the boat, rather than having to have a wire from each component back to the battery, um, you have one wire to the battery and, uh, and then all the individual negatives can come into the distribution bar to make life a bit easier on the wiring. And then we have these plastic covers which go into place so that once you've wired everything on that you want to, it keeps it safe from accidental short circuits. So we'll pop that on for now so we don't lose any bits. Okay, so now we've got the key bits of our wiring and circuitry that goes to the main battery. And we work outwards from these to the other, um, other things we're going to install in the boat. So next up will be the switch panel. Just to say on these switch panels, very few, if any, are really truly waterproof. So you've got to think about where to position it. I mean, I would 
you expect to see that on a say a, a sailing cruiser to be inside the cabin inside the main cabin probably just inside the main cabin so you can get to it easily um, from the outside but not outside in the cockpit where it's going to get splashed and probably not work for very long uh, so yeah just think about kind of ease ease of accessibility but keeping it high and dry as far as you possibly can so that's where we're, going to, where we're going to end this first part of the video. So we've got some of the key components installed. And then in the next part, part two, we're going to start wiring things up, adding components uh, into the system and uh, hopefully make it really easy and simple to understand. So I hope you're going to find these guides uh, useful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.